A plea deal for the killer of 11-year-old Jacob Wetterling calls for no charges in the boy's death. Danny Heinrich admitted today to abducting, sexually assaulting, and shooting Jacob on October 22, 1989, in a crime that horrified and mystified Minnesotans for more than a quarter century. His admission came in federal court in Minneapolis as he pleaded guilty to a child pornography charge. Finally, we know. We know what the Wetterling family and all of Minnesota have longed to know since that awful night in 1989. We know the truth. Danny Heinrich is no longer a person of interest. He is the confessed murderer of Jacob Wetterling. And for that, he will spend the next 20 years in prison. Heinrich led authorities to Jacob's body last week after initially denying involvement in his death. The 53-year-old Andover man described donning a mask and confronting three children with a revolver near Jacob's central Minnesota home. He says he took Jacob, handcuffed him, and assaulted him in a grove of trees. Afterward, he shot Jacob, later buried him in a gravel pit, and then reburied him a year later. Heinrich says when he took Jacob, the boy asked, what did I do wrong? What I really wanted to say today is about Jacob. He's taught us all how to live, how to love, how to be fair, how to be kind. He speaks to the world that we, that he knew, that we all believe in, and it is a world that's worth fighting for. His legacy will go on. I want to say, Jacob, I'm so sorry. It's incredibly painful to know his last days, last hours, last minutes. We love you, Jacob. We will continue to fight. Our hearts are hurting. We will try and pull. I would, I would love to talk to you all. I'm just not ready yet. Because for us, Jacob was alive until we found, until we found him. Heinrich faces the statutory maximum of 20 years on the child pornography count, though Judge John Tunheim will decide his sentence. Heinrich could also be civilly committed to the state's sexual offender program after his prison sentence ends. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.